If you're working on a biography project and need a trustworthy online resource, or are having trouble finding a book, make sure to check out Gale in Context Biography. To get there, start from our website, www.wilbrahamlibrary.org, hover over Research and Learning, and click on Gale Databases. This will take you to a long list of resources, but the one we want is on the top right. Click on the box that says Biography. In this search box on the top, top left, we can start typing in the name that we're looking for. So I'm going to look for Sojourner Truth. And as I start to type, you can see suggestions are coming up. If I click on the one that I want, I can simply click on it and it'll perform the search. From this overview page, you can see some quick facts, including her birth and death date, occupations, nationality, we get the beginning of one biography here on the left. And if we scroll down, we can follow even more links to other content, including images, audio files, news and magazine articles, and websites that can help us as we continue researching. Back at the top, I wanna to read the full biography that came up first, and I'm just going to click on the button that says read more. You'll notice a couple of things near the top that will help you pick what content would be best for your project. Over here on the right, we get a word count. So we know that with 2,147 words, this is going to be a longer article. The content level four and Lexile measure here indicate that this article is probably good for high schoolers. A level three would be middle school. And as we can start to read the article, we have an updated date of December 21st, 2017. So we know that this was last updated not quite three years ago. This date may not be as important for historic figures, but if you're working with someone still living, you are going to want to pay attention to that to make sure that you're not looking at out of date information. And then to read the article, we can just scroll down and start looking at the different sections and what it says about Sojourner Truth. At the very bottom, they give you suggestions for further reading, both books and online. And the source citation is really useful as well, giving you the option to choose which format is best for your Works Cited page. You are going to want to check to make sure it lines up with the style your teacher wants, but it's a helpful starting point instead of creating a citation from scratch. And finally, when you're finished with one article, you can go back up to the top and to the right in this gray box where it says explore, there are suggestions for other articles that are similar to the one that you're looking at. So I'm going to click on this one from the world of sociology. And you can see again, as you look at the content level, this is about the same reading level as the one we just looked at, but it's much shorter at just 392 words. So that's the basics of how to search Gale in Context Biography. Let us know how it goes in the comments. If you have any questions about what I've shown you in this video or need some help finding information on a person you're researching, please call the library at 413-596-6141 or email us at reference at wilbrahamlibrary.org.